Yo, what is up guys, Surgical Goblin here and welcome to this new episode. In today's video, I will try to complete the ramp up challenge. But before I start with this video, I do want to mention a few things guys. Because as you guys can see, I might look a little bit tired, but I was traveling all day yesterday. I got back from Finland, my girlfriend invited me to come there and spend time with her and her family. And I had a great time guys, it was an amazing experience and I also posted some pictures on my social media on Twitter and Instagram So if you're interested to see that make sure to check them out My social media is like at surgical goblin and same for Instagram like surgical goblin So make sure to check that out and I do want to mention guys because right now I returned and right now I will have a lot of time to create content I will be traveling a little bit this month, but not too much, so I'll try to stream more often. When I streamed, I was streaming on Twitch, but I might start looking into streaming on YouTube, but I will keep you guys updated on my Twitter. So again, make sure to follow my Twitter, at Surgical Goblin. I will keep you guys updated there regarding streaming. And regarding YouTube, I might start doing more YouTube videos. I will not promise anything with, for example, daily uploads. But if possible, I would definitely love to do daily uploads. So maybe I will try to uh, do more like different content. Like normally, I would always start off from the nine wins, except if I'm traveling, like if I have to pre-record and schedule videos. Sometimes it was different, but most of the times I start from nine wins and then get to 12 wins. But I might start doing more uh, like funny decks, for example, starting from six wins, trying to get to nine wins or more blind copy deck challenge or if you have any serious idea please let me know in the comment section down below as well i have another episode idea for um probably tomorrow or maybe in two days depending on the time i have but for example this quest i almost have this uh, legendary chest i just need to complete one of these uh quests but i would love to try to complete it in the um, episode itself and then end the episode with a legendary chest opening so that would be really cool in my opinion it's a really fun episode idea but let me know if you guys would like to see that but as I said in the beginning, I'll try to complete the ramp up challenge. So I've been, I've been playing with this deck. I'm already at five wins, as you guys can see, zero losses. And I've been playing with this deck and I've had some really good success, actually. It's a really, sun, uh, it's a really fun and solid deck because in this deck, like um, heavy decks are really good. You can punish really well with this deck, but you also have a really solid defense because, of course, Pekka, really solid versus decks like Golem, decks like Giant, but also cycle decks like Hawk Rider, Miner, etc., and then you have a really solid offense, better ram uh, with the Royal Ghost. If you don't have the Royal Ghost, guys, but you do have the Bandit, I would say um, sub in the Bandit because the original version was the Bandit. But since the Royal Ghost is released, it's kind of a replacement for Bandit. So as I said, if you don't have the Royal Ghost, make sure to put the Bandit in this place. If you don't have the Royal Ghost, maybe something like Goblins or something else would work. I'm not sure. But definitely either the Ghost or the Bandit if you have them. And then you have Minions, you have Zap, um, Ice Spirit Zap, I mean. Then you have Electro Wizard and Poison. In my opinion, it's a really, really fun and solid deck. So I would say let's just begin with the first match, guys. Hopefully just four matches this episode. It might be a little bit long of an episode, but I don't think it will be too long. So let's give him the thumbs up and let's give him the good luck. So in the beginning, it's of course like one time elixir. So we just uh, start off normal. I will start off with the Royal Ghost. Looks like he will go with his princess, which is really nice. The Royal Ghost is invisible. So it will easily take down his princess unless he, for example, drops something. Looks like he will go with a barrel. I don't really have anything besides... Um, he was, I could have zapped over there, but I, d I decided to not. I decided to just let it be. I'll actually go with my P.E.K.K.A. right here because he spent quite a lot of Elixir. And I think it's a good moment for the P.E.K.K.A. And he didn't really show any uh, heavy tank deck. So I think we don't really need the P.E.K.K.A. later on. I think it's fine to use it already. Let's go with minions for his uh, baby dragon. Let's actually zap his Inferno dragon over here and his baby dragon. Just to make sure the P.E.K.K.A. will actually stay alive. But looks like the Inferno dragon will take it out. So well played on his part. And so far it's a rough start guys. We took some damage. We barely dealt any damage. One minion got one hit. But let's go with Ice Spirit at the bridge. Um, let's try to hit all his goblins with the E-Wiz. Looks like we didn't. We just hit two. And let's see. So let's actually go with a P.E.K.K.A. in the back. Trying to build up a push. We already have double elixir right now guys. And we might um, like be able to make even a bigger push. When you have triple elixir of course. But let's see. So he has a baby dragon there. I will go with minions. And I will go with Ice Spirit for his battle ram. And I will go with Electro Wizard for his Inferno Dragon of course. Um, I kind of need to zap his Goblin Barrel over here because we really don't have anything else. And then I will poison his Princess. I'm not sure if the P.E.K.K.A. is still healthy. Looks like it isn't. Looks like he will actually have a Tornado as well. But we do have the Royal Ghost over here guys. But his Princess got so much uh, damage. Looks like the P.E.K.K.A. will go down. But it looks like our Royal Ghost is actually able to deal some damage. So let's go with the Ice Spirit over here. Um, let's go with the Electro Wizard. Let's have minions for his barrel. Let's go with minions and then go with a better ram offensive. And we really need to get some damage right now, guys. We're about to hit triple elixir, so let's go with a poison. 
And let's see if the better ram can connect. Looks like it won't, but looks like the Barbarian will actually connect to the tower. So that will get a lot of damage. We still have the Electro Wizard. We still have minions there. Baby Dragon will go down. And I think that will be tower, guys. Let's go with a P.E.K.K.A. in this lane. Let's see if it will be tower. One more hit. There you go. Oh, wow. It actually uh, didn't enough. It's 8 HP left. But we do have, of course, we have the minions for his barrel. Let's go with minions. Let's go with a Royal Ghost on this side and we might be able to let's actually go with a better ram to tank for his baby dragon and that way the minions will be able to finish off his baby dragon let's go with electro wizard for his inferno dragon um let's go with minions over here guys and or let's go with the ice spirit over here let's actually go with a pekka for his battle ram and i think that we got this guys we just need to defend we can poison his princess and then we just oh actually double no i missed the princess i should have waited a little bit but i think we can just defend um his barrel but let's see, let's go with Electro Wizard, let's go with a P.E.K.K.A. And I will go with Royal Ghost and then a Zep for his barrel, just to make sure we don't take too much damage. I also dropped the Ice Spirit to tank. Oh wow, I didn't even see the Inferno Dragon in the right lane. Let's give him the good game, give him the wall plate and a thumbs up. I was so focused on defending the left side tower that I didn't notice the Inferno Dragon on the right side. But luckily it didn't take the tower, but that was actually uh, quite close and quite stupid of me. Because if we lost the tower, the right side tower, we would have been in such a bad situation. Because he almost took the left side tower as well. But that was kind of um, a chaotic first game. Interesting deck he had, but let's give him the thumbs up and let's give him the good luck. So let's start off with the Electro Wizard into his Goblin Hut. Fortunately, we don't have the poison, otherwise I probably would have poisoned it. But let's see, let's see if the Electro Wizard will uh, be able to counter it quite well, or if we need to drop something else. Let's go with the Ice Spirit in this lane, looks like he will have a Mega Knight. Let's go with a P.E.K.K.A. P.E.K.K.A. is a good counter to Mega Knight, so that's good. But it depends if he has an um, Inferno Dragon right now, because we use the, uh, yeah, we use the Electro Wizard. So... If he does have an Inferno Dragon right now, he will be able to counter our P.E.K.K.A. really well. But let's go with a Royal Ghost behind it. And looks like he actually has a Spawner deck. Let's go with a Poison for his Furnace um, and his Cannon Card over there. And I think the Cannon Card will definitely get out of... Yeah, there you go. It will definitely get out of the range. But we can Electro Wizard it just in time, to, just so uh, we make sure it won't hit the tower. And hopefully it's able to kill the uh, Cannon Card. Let's see. Looks like it didn't get a hit, which is nice. And the uh, Spear Goblin and the Fire Spirit will also not make it to the tower. Spear Goblin did get one hit, but that's totally fine. Let's actually go with a better in this lane. Um, and then support it with minions, knowing that he has a Mega Knight. He might Mega Knight here. If I drop my Royal Ghost, he would have Mega Knight for sure. There's his Mega Knight. Let's go with a P.E.K.K.A. over here, guys. And he gives us a good poison, hitting his Flying Machine and hitting his Goblin Hut. So that's a good poison. I will take it for sure. Uh, we can send the Royal Ghost in the left lane to make sure we don't take too much damage with his spawners. Then I will go with the Electro Wizard for his flying machine just to make sure we keep the P.E.K.K.A. alive. Hopefully the Electro Wizard will go in the back. Looks like it will go in the front which is really unfortunate. But let's go with a better ram. Let's go with minions. Um, looks like he will go with his Mega Knight. The P.E.K.K.A. will be able to get one hit on the Mega Knight. And I think the minions will be able to finish it off. So that was a really good um, Mega or P.E.K.K.A. on our part. It got a lot of value. Let's go with Royal Ghost. Let's go with Electro Wizard and hopefully we're able to get some damage right now, guys. Let's go with a better ram. Let's go with minions. And we are in triple elixir right now, guys. So we have a lot of elixir to play with. Let's actually go with a poison. He goes with a defensive poison while played on his part. And we are actually still leading on the damage on the left side tower. I didn't even notice that. So I might start going for the left side tower. Let's go with Electro Wizard in the back, guys. Looks like he will go with another spawner. And so far, he's just trying to chip away with his spawners. But so far, we're able to defend uh, the spawners quite well. Let's go with better ram. I'm not sure if I can poison. Let's go with a poison for his furnace and his um, cannon card over there. Let's go with another electro wizard in the back. And we have the P.E.K.K.A. ready for his uh, Mega Knight. Looks like he will go with a Mega Knight right now. I'll actually zap over here just to make sure the cannon card won't be in range of the... Um, of the P.E.K.K.A. Let's go with minions. Let's go with the Ice Spirit. Hopefully we're able to kill those units over there. And then just chip away. I will go with a poison for his Goblin Hut and the tower. And slowly we're chipping away guys. Um, He's also chipping away. His flying machine will get a few hits. Let's go with a Royal Ghost in the back. Let's go with Electro Wizard in the back. And this is so uh, just annoying to deal with. Because he has like spawners. He would just like constantly put pressure on us. Let's go with a poison for both his spawners. Looks like he will go with a Mega Knight. Looks like he will... Um, Actually, the Royal Ghost will take down the Cannon Card, which is really nice. And the minions are doing work on the Mega Knight. But I think we might be able to just, like, poison cycle. I don't know. Like, it's such a chaotic match so far. I hope I'm commentating uh, right. But so much things are going on right now. He has a Flying Machine. He has the um, Furnace over there. Let's go with a Royal Ghost into his Cannon Card. 
Let's actually go with a P.E.K.K.A over here, guys. Let's go with minions. And I think that we got this game, guys. I mean, he can't really come through. We have a P.E.K.K.A for his Mega Knight. We can just Poison Cycle if needed. Um, let's actually Zap over here. And let's see. Let's go with a better M. Let's go with... Um, Let's go with a Royal Ghost. Let's go with the Electro Wizard. And he might Mega Knight here. I think he will Mega Knight. Let's see. Looks like he won't have it in cycle. Now he does have it in cycle. Let's see if he will use it. I don't think he will use it anymore. He goes with a Furnace. Let's go with a Poison. And I think this will just end up uh, being a Spell Cycle match. I mean, he will also start Spell Cycling. Let's go with Electro Wizard. Let's go with a Better Ram. Let's go with Means, guys. He does have a um, Fire Spirit there. But I think we should be able to counter it. Looks like the Kedek card actually died. The Fire Spirit or the um, Ice Spirit will freeze the Flying Machine. And we can just Ice or Electro Wizard his Flying Machine. And then go with a Ghost. Let's go with a Zep. And I'm not sure if that is enough, guys. Let's go with Means just to be sure. Let's go. Let's not go with Poison yet. Because I'm not sure if it's enough. And he might go with a Kedek card. But now we cycle back to Poison and the Zep. So let's go with a Better Ram just to make sure we don't take damage from the Kedek card. Then we can Zep the Tower. And that's a good game. Let's give him the good game. Give him the wall plate and let's give him the thumbs up. Quite an annoying match, guys. He was using a spawner deck with Flying Machine, Cannon Card and Mega Knight. But we were able to um, counter his offense really well. He did chip away and looks like we get three epics. But we were able to chip away more with the spells. And early on the game, I'm not sure what delve damage on the left side. Maybe it was the Royal Ghost connecting to his tower. But we were able to get the win. And looks like we get some epics, three giant skeleton, which isn't the best. But I actually seen, uh, I've actually seen some decks working with the giant skeleton. Getting 12 wins in this meta, so that's interesting. So let's give him the thumbs up and let's give him the good luck. He's giving the crying face. So this time we don't start off with and the battle ram and the royal ghost. So I'll probably start off with means in the back, unless he, for example, goes with a giant, of course, or if he puts, for example, collector, I will poison it. But let's actually wait um, for his like for him to make a move. And it looks like he will also wait. I might just start off with minions because I'm not sure what deck he has. Maybe he has some type of golem, uh, P.E.K.K.A. like super expensive deck. And then I don't want to deal with it like in triple elixir. Of course, I can cycle P.E.K.K.A.s really well. But let's actually go with a P.E.K.K.A. in the back for his royal ghost. It might be risky if he has another card like a giant. Uh, looks like he will actually has a mega knight. Let's go with a better ram in this lane. And let's have the zap ready for his um, skeleton barrel. I might actually... No, I will definitely zap over here. Because I will have the electro wizard for his inferno dragon. So let's zap the skeleton barrel. Pekka will get a ton of value over here. And looks like we're about to hit double elixir. Which will be really nice for us. Because we can support this Pekka in that way. So let's go with a poison. Let's... Um, no, we can cycle to zap. Which is unfortunate. But the Pekka might be able to get one hit. There you go. Pekka gets one hit. Which is really nice. And let's see, guys. Let's have the Royal Ghost. Our Royal Ghost for his Royal Ghost. Um, of course, it's invisible. So we first need to let it lock on the tower. That's unfortunate, but it will get a few hits. Let's go with a P.E.K.K.A. right now, guys. And let's have the Zep ready for his um, Skeleton Barrel again. And we just need to make sure we time it well. Because then it won't get any damage, of course. Uh, except the, like the... Um, the death damage, I mean, let's go with Electro Wizard and let's kind of have a try to have a split push over here, guys. Let's go with a better M. Um, let's go with means and Ice Spirit, knowing that he probably Mega Knight over here. Looks like he didn't. He will actually he decided to zap and then poison. That's interesting. Um, but let's see. So it looks like the Royal Ghost will actually be invisible and the Inferno Dragon will tank. So I just made I just made sure we dropped our Royal Ghost just to make sure. Uh, wow, I do need to zap. This is a difficult situation, guys. I need to watch out with his skeletons. But it looks like we do counter it. And we just need to poison the right side tower. But we do have 50 seconds left. So we just need to sit back on defense, uh, basically. But depends if he drops. There you go. He goes with his Mega Knight. Um, we just need to poison his tower. But we do need to watch out with his Inferno Dragon. So let's see. Let's go with the Electro Wizard over here, guys. Let's go with Means for his Miner. And I think we are able to counter it. We just need to make sure we zap again. Like, time the zap right. There you go. There's the zap. Um, let's go with the Royal Ghost over here. He might again Mega Knight, but we have the P.E.K.K.A over here, guys. I'll actually poison right now, hitting his Royal Ghost and hitting his Inferno Dragon and hitting his Miner. That's a really good poison over there. And I don't think he will be able to take the tower in 20 seconds. He will probably go with, um, there you go. Let's go with, oh, I, I thought it was, um, let's actually go with a poison. I thought it was the Electro Wizard, but I dropped the Royal Ghost. But it doesn't really matter. I mean, just seven seconds left. We just need to have some distraction for his Mega Knight. We can go with means for his Miner. But it's GG already. Let's give him the good game. Give him the wall plate. And let's give him the thumbs up. So 8-0 in the challenge right now. And as you guys can see, it's a really sun, uh, it's a really fun and solid deck. Not a really sun deck. It's a really fun and a really solid deck. As you guys can see, 8-0 in the challenge right now. And let's hopefully finish it off with a 9-0. That would be really nice. But let's see. Let's give him the thumbs up and let's give him the good luck. 
So let's see what he uh, he starts off with. We do have an ice spirit, and as most of you guys know, if you watch my gameplay more often, I really like to start off with a um, ice spirit at the bridge. Let's actually go with electro wizard and a royal ghost. So he went with barrel, and he went with um, golden gang. Looks like the electro wizard actually died, but we do have a counter push with the royal ghost and a better ram. Let's have the zap ready, but looks like the inferno dragon or the inferno tower will first lock on the better ram. And we don't really need the zap. He also has a Valkyrie, which is interesting, but we have the minions for that. Valkyrie, of course, doesn't hit air. So we can go with minions to um, kill her. And we kind of have a counter push in that way. He also used his bats, but minions will actually kill the bats. And I'm not sure if the two minions will connect to the tower. Maybe one hit. Um, looks like two hits, actually. That's nice. Let's go with the Royal Ghost. We have an Ice Spirit there as well. And I think, there you go, that will counter it. So we just need to make sure we have the Zap ready because we know he has his Goblin Gang. There's his Goblin Gang. Let's go with the Zap. And hopefully the Royal Ghost will be able to finish. There you go. They will finish it off. And the Royal Ghost is actually locked on the tower. Let's go with Better Ram in the back. I don't really know uh, what else to play. I could have dropped my P.E.K.K.A. But I'm not sure, like, he... Um, so far, he kind of has a strange deck. So I'm not sure if he has, for example, a tank or anything. Let's go with the Ice Spirit. Let's go with Poison. Um... And we actually, so there you go, there's his Mega Knight. That's what I mean. Like, if I, for example, went with Pekka in the back and he dropped, for example, Mega Knight in the other lane, we might have been able to, or we might have struggled defending it. But let's see, let's go with a Zep for his bets. Let's go um, with a Royal Ghost behind this push. We still have the Electro Wizard there. We have Means there. We have Pekka there. And I'm thinking about going with another Electro Wizard. He goes with an Inferno uh, Tower, but we still have an Electro Wizard there, which will stun it. And we might end up 3 crowning this, guys, uh, this guy, guys, because he... Um, he used so much elixir, but we still have so much elixir on the field. And let's see, we have the be uh, Royal Ghost, we have the Better Ram connecting, we have the Baby Dragon. Let's actually zap, and we might be able to trick on him. Let's see, um, there you go. It's really close. I think we will be able to trick on him. We just need to um, get one good Better Ram connection. I will actually ignore the Goblin Barrel. I'll go with the Ice Spirit. I'll go with the Better Ram, and I think we can actually cycle Poison. I didn't even notice the time. We still have 40 seconds left. But I think it will connect. Looks like it doesn't connect. Let's actually go with the Electro Wizard for his Mega Knight. Just to make sure we don't um, lose the tower. But there you go. One Barbarian with almost 1 HP. Did get the swing. And it did get uh, get us the 3 crowns. So let's give him the good game. Let's give him the wall plate. And let's give him the thumbs up. So it looks like we got a 9-0. And I actually asked um, this morning on Twitter. If you guys would like to see a ramp up challenge. And many of you guys said yes. Some of you guys said no. I'm sorry if you didn't want to see this. Maybe you guys already uh, skipped away the video. But I do want to thank you guys if you did watch until the end. And I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you guys uh, liked it. Also let me know if you guys liked the idea about the quest uh, episode. Like me trying to get... Um, one of the quests and then getting the legendary chest let me know if you guys would like to see that and let's start off um, by collecting the 10k gold which is always nice of course and let's get into the chest opening i'm not expecting anything special but let's see we do get 6k gold which is also nice we get one skeleton we get seven barbarian huts we get some flying machine goblin hut skeleton barrel looks like we get some tesla and i think some uh, epics right now there you go three pins which is actually really nice prince is really good in this meta right now and it's also one of my highest epics as you guys can see level 7 45 out of the 200 for max epic so that would be really cool if i can get a max epic so again guys this is deck feel free to copy it feel free to use it feel free to let me know if you do and if you guys enjoyed it let me know if you get the nine wins and if you enjoyed this episode make sure to smack that like button if you're not subscribed to my channel yet feel free to subscribe and i will see you on all of my next videos Bye, guys.